next uh, speaker who is mr chansekar v he is the uh, heads he heads the digital application practice at tata alexi he has been with tata alexi for more than 25 years developing and handling various digital platforms and solutions for media and communication verticals he has led multiple innovative projects at tata alexi which has led to phenomenal growth for the company some of the area of interest are extended reality uh, software as a service content centric system using blockchain recent uh, recently he participated and presented media innovation using blockchain at international broadcaster conference this was selected as a innovation accelerator project and was demonstrated uh, two patent application filed in the area of application of media based uh, blockchains uh, thank you uh, chansekhar ji please you may like to continue <laughs> Hi, very good afternoon. I'm Chandra. Uh, thanks for Mr. Arvind for introducing me. So, I was very happy about uh, Raj introducing blockchain fundamentals and uh, talking about uh, the pervasiveness and uh, the potential as a you know uh, digital infrastructure. Right? You know, I will not get into the the basics of it, but specifically, I would like to pick up some of the uh, salient use cases. Uh, which we have been experimenting and we have uh, tried this in broadcast and specifically in the ott related uh, area okay so just like to introduce my company tata alexi in broadcast and media space so we have been part of uh, this industry for past 20 plus years and work with content providers operators ecosystem partners okay in the you know broadcast related uh, area predominantly uh, uh, the ott space has been actually kind of giving a lot of growth for us and we have been uh, in one of the uh, forerunners and we have a lot of uh, technology depth in these areas yeah so again picking up the same uh, ott case as i mentioned so ott has been actually growing with a phenomenal growth rate about 15.5% uh, annual compounded growth rate and it is actually creating a lot of opportunities for india and uh, uh, indian uh, service industry and uh, obviously tata alex has been you know uh, uh, kind of you know focusing and uh, growing in this area very very much and then uh, why i picked up this case is because how you, you can actually extrapolate this kind of a case uh, for uh, the broadcast side right how how we can do it and uh, specifically the usage of blockchain in this context right so some of the challenges what i see from a operator perspective uh, they have a lot of they are sitting on a lot of premium uh, content but uh, not able to monetize and lot of platforms with lot of subscription options people i think all, all i'm i'm very sure i think each of you are kind of uh, uh, you know getting into this problem of uh, how many platforms you wanted to subscribe right you have so many ott platforms you know and then keeping track of that and uh, again discovering the content from each of these platforms uh, which whichever you know you like are you able to discover and consume it at a, a pace and the time you want etc right and also the uh, revenue linkage because of the subscription right in credential sharing etc and also when we look at right you know lot of uh, uh, you know operators uh, having this content operation cost leading to less you know arpu and content piracy uh, specifically you know because uh, they are able to hack and uh, uh, view this and uh, also the no uniformity in the uni uh, you know viewer analytics etc so that you know if a ott platform or a, a broadcaster wanted to target a region or a particular uh, person etc for a personalized recommendation it is all fragmented actually they have to rely on multiple you know platforms to understand where the analytic right, right analytics are coming in and then take a, a decision etc so these are all the some of the uh, problems i see in the current, current operator space and uh, monetization models also right like i'm sure that you know uh, uh, one is certainly a subscription model where you pay a subscription amount per month and then uh, utilize that for viewing the content available in that particular platform and other ways are like you know pay per view rental 
and then transaction wards, etc. They are all allowing you to, to do this kind of a, a you know, single piece of a content. But particular idea what, what I am trying to position here is a little bit uh, different from all this and uh, it actually, you know, once I probably uh, tell you, it is kind of, you know, very interesting to see that. So again, from the consumer perspective, when we spoke about the operator, I'm talking about the consumer perspective, right? Your subscriptions are enforced. You need to subscribe for, uh, you know, into a OTT channel or a, uh, even if you like only one particular, say, web series, you, you end up subscribing for that in a monthly basis, okay? You don't, you can't consume that on a piece, cont per piece content, right? Premium contents are scattered across platforms. Obviously, right, this, uh, this premium contents, everybody kind of keep it exclusively because uh, that is their kind of you know, unique selling propositions. So, uh, again, if you look at right, these are all paradox of choice. Lot of choice you are getting, and then uh, again, this actually throws up uh, again content discovery and all that kind of uh, issues. And so, the particular uh, uh, solution, what I am trying to uh, bring it in here, proposed solution. What if, say, suppose you wanted to watch a uh, content in a say, suppose Netflix you like only one web series and then if you are able to watch only that web series without actually paying uh, subscription, that is one of the possibility. Again, this is in a uh, ideation stage. I'm sure these are all the things which we are experimenting and we have made it, uh, uh, you know, possible uh, to do it through, uh, seamlessly through blockchain. But I'm sure that this will, this, this kind of models would be adopted more and more. Okay. So think that, you know, in a particular uh, web series or a particular movie, premium content is available in a OTT channel and you wanted to uh, view it. But you wanted to view it only by paying for that. Even if it is a little more, you don't mind paying for only for that particular content. Okay. Currently, there is no su such kind of a mechanism, uh, you know, available. So think that uh, some other subscriber, whoever is having subscription to that particular channel and uh, actually kind of uh, referring a content to you and you view it only paying for that, say them think that Netflix is charging you some X number of uh, rupees, but you are paying only, say, minimal, minimal for that, only for that content and watching it, it is very convenient for you. So, like that, lot of other uh, OTT aggregations, they can actually refer whoever is the channels, and then this is called, we are calling it as endorsement, right? Endorsement or referral mechanisms. So just keep in mind that uh, any movie or something, right? Do you like to go and watch if your friend says that it is good or you watch it in a kind of you see it in a newspaper and then you go and watch it? So a higher chance of actually conversion always happens if there is a referral from your friend, colleague, family, etc. Right? That we call it as a, because they are putting their personal stake and they are, they are actually saying that it, they are endorsing that particular piece of content. Like, so that is also kind of weaved into this. Okay, and also what I have done is, we have done is, I, th I think, you know, for the particular behavior of referring this particular content, they get incentivized. Again, I'm, as I'm saying, this is a blockchain, we can actually do all these things seamlessly. And any, uh, the particular, particular piece of content being referred will, will have to be kind of enabled for viewership only for a certain duration, right? then that is also possible uh, uh, to be controlled. It can be controlled very seamlessly through blockchain. So all these things kind of ideas we have kind of, you know, weaved in and then we created a solution with media-based blockchains. It's a kind of a little bit uh, uh, heavy in uh, kind of uh, technicalities, but then I just thought it is, again, a simplified uh, view, uh, thinking that how a particular idea can be uh, kind of, you know, realized. It's a pretty, uh, if you want, I can get into a kind of a, uh, kind of a description part of it. Uh, so uh, as I said, right, a, a subscriber who is part of a OTT platform is referring a content to a friend or colleague or a family and they are able to view it. So that is what we have created through this particular platform. And incentivization, say suppose you refer 10 pieces of content and then you get incentivized for that referral behavior and then you will get, uh, you know, kind of, you know, converted that into some kind of a uh, uh, you know, uh, subscription, etc. Right? That can be, uh, uh, you know, rewarded like that. So uh, this is what we have created, and this has been. Uh, 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 believe me, this kind of a model or mechanism is not available in the industry now, and uh, th that's why we thought uh, it is uh, good to create this. And uh, th this has got a pretty good uh, uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, re reviews actually. Wh while I presented this at uh, uh, IBC Amsterdam this year, the previous year, sorry. 
So even though I have a lot of you know screens for demonstration, but I don't think it is uh, going to allow me. I will just uh, uh, you know pass it through because this we have created an application ecosystem to kind of uh, create this and uh, you know. Uh, 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 you know, kind of, you know, a complete uh, demonstration is possible, but uh, I just thought for your uh, information, I'll just uh, browse it through. And uh, as Mr. Raj was talking about the NFTs also, right, we have created this NFT uh, also. Like when you are uh, referring a c content, it is also possible that you gift the content through NFT means. That means you buy that right for a particular piece of content. Again, that NFT, we can call it as you know, uh, you, those NFTs, when you create it, they will all be kind of a bound by some kind of a, uh, policies like smart contracts we can talk about. And uh, as soon as the po policy expires, they will be revoked from the subscription. So it will become very seamless. So the operator or a coding is not going to be very difficult actually in this particular case. So that mechanism also we have created here. And the third thing is, Think that a, an operator or a broadcaster enabling this kind of a sharing mechanism. See, as of now, no, this kind of a revenue model doesn't exist in this ecosystem. Okay, once if this is being created, and he is getting an alternative revenue uh, channel, and second is, uh, he can actually figure out, they can actually figure out which is that movie or a type of content getting trending in this kind of a referral space, and they can uh, easily kind of elevate such kind of, by sharing more and more of such kind of a similar kind of a content. So this is another way to look at it. So, and uh, so I, I'm sure that you know, as of now, there may be a lot of questions about you know why would they, you know a content provider allow you to kind of do it. So this is a kind of a radical way of actually sharing a seamlessly. So I'm sure I think you know this industry will mature to, you know in a very quick a quick way because the way it is going right, it it can be possible uh, very quickly. Okay. The future scenarios, again, as I see with the blockchain and media, I'm, I'm sure the time is up, just take a minute. Uh, so again, automation, uh, process of content creation, content consumption through seamlessly through blockchains, uh, integrating the rights management in the uh, ecosystem, and the royalty payments and the uh, payment settlements seamlessly as and when to with the operator, with the you know content provider, operator, etc. Right? And integrating revenue settlements between stakeholders becomes very easily, seamlessly through smart contracts, which are again non-fungible and with a very good uh, security. Okay. So I would like to, again, I will not get into the blockchain why, I think it is a, it really provides a lot of uh, USPs. Uh, it should not be uh, misinterpreted uh, like cryptocurrency, like many people associate blockchain with cryptocurrency, it need not be. It's a technology kind of a, uh, available where you can deploy. The salient features mainly is again, as we said, immutability, distributed ledger, and uh, smart contracts. I think these are all very powerful tools. And wherever there is a trust between stakeholders is missing, and this is a perfect way to actually utilize this technology. Okay, it, it, the stakeholders do not have to trust each other, and then they are still, they can actually agree to put up a system and use it. So that's the kind of uh, uh, context is this. Yeah, I think uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, benefits to the operator and subscriber in this particular way, like, you know, social media influencing, etc. And uh, so with this, I think uh, more or less I kind of uh, complete my uh, the idea presentation. So this is just to give you that, you know, we presented this in a IBC, International Broadcaster Show, where a lot of it's kind of a, uh, you know, very crowded global market of, you know, operators, content providers, you name anybody, everybody will be there in the industry. I think this was a uh, accelerator project which we t took it off and then we created a complete uh, demonstration. We had a booth there. Okay. So thank you with this. Uh, any uh, questions I'll take later. Thank you. Uh,